Corbels are reinforced structural members or short structural projections used to transfer vertical and horizontal forces from beams to columns. Corbels are reinforced structural members or short structural projections used to transfer vertical and horizontal forces from beams to columns. They are used commonly in the field of reinforced concrete structures, bridge structures and precast structures. They are also called as brackets. A corbel is typically characterized by a shear span to depth ratio lower than unity. A span to depth ration greater than one indicates the member is a bending member. The short hunch geometry of the corbel makes them behave in two-dimensional manner. The corbel is placed overhanging from a column. Upon the corbel is a bearing pad upon which the force acts perpendicularly and horizontally. The interface between the corbel and the column is the plane along which most failures take place. The geometry of the corbel, in its section, is gradually increasing towards the column. This is to counter the increasing moment towards the end of the corbel. A double corbel is a case where two protrusions are placed opposite to each other. Both the corbels may have different dimensions based upon the load intensities. Double corbels can be designed with different depths and shapes at the same time. In bridge engineering, many structures may behave as corbels including station piers, concourse arms, platform arms, pier cap, seismic arresters, bearing pedestals, etc. There are different types of corbels as shown in the illustration. Single corbels can have either rectangular or trapezoidal in section. The reinforcement of single corbels is provided in the following way. Reinforcing bars 1, 2, 3 and 4 are placed in conjunction with the reinforcement of the column. Reinforcement bar number 2 is also the primary reinforcing bar. Reinforcement for double corbels follows the same pattern as in a single corbel, except for the primary reinforcement indicated as reinforcement number 4. There may be some slight variations in the shape of main bars. This is done to allow for sufficient development length, but the generic reinforcement shown here remains the same. Sometimes an eye section with an overhang cantilever is placed upon the corbel. The overhang is incident upon the corbel at the following points. In our next video, we will deal with the failure modes of concrete corbels in detail. Till then, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel and share. Creativity is now. The Bridgehawk.